Hello and welcome to the channel Gaming Like a Noob. I'm the noob and I call myself Sansomi. And it's first day today, so another Manchester United side. Let me start by uh, start out by saying that if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. It would help me out a lot. And if you are, I would thank you very much. I would say thank you very much. Or I say thank you very much. Anyway, let's get on with this. We're facing Burnemouth away in the league today. Um, we have a good and secure lead in the league, I must say. It feels like we have built a really, really good team. And um, yeah, let's see what we can use for players. Um, I mean, look at loads of players being really, really tired. We need to do a lot of changes here. That's for sure. I'm even thinking maybe I should just clear the entire team and um, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Clear team. Because I want fresh players now to play today. And De Gaia is, of course, fresh. Then we need a right defender. So um, we've been very happy with the new signing. Uh, Tariq Lamte, uh, I think he's been brilliant since he came. <clears throat> Looking a bit tired today, so Dalot is going to get uh, back his position just for today, if nothing else. A centre defenders, I mean, look at both Varane and Delict are very tired. So, um, hmm, that's going to be a problem because Taylor is tired as well. Hmm. Kenneth Taylor is even more tired. I am thinking maybe I'll let Delict play. Maybe he's no, he says he's in rest in need of a rest. That's all. Um, we don't really have anybody else to play. That's a bit scary, to be honest. I don't want to get Delict injured, but I'm going to take a chance using Delict together with. And now, <clears throat> then we have the left defender. We have Luke Shaw or Alfonso Davis. Now, Luke Shaw is coming back from an injury, but he's fully fit now. So let's play Luke Shaw because Alfonso Davis is, is uh, in need of rest. So then on the right side, <clears throat> we can't play Morgan Pierce, I see, because he's tired. We could play Brad Faulkner. So let's see. We usually play with Jadon Sancho. And he is fresh enough to play. So I'm going to give that to him. Now a defensive midfielder. And Jude is in need of rest. So I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Seywald. And the offensive. We have Bruno Fernandes. And he's fresh enough to play. So that's going to happen. On the left, uh, we've got to go, usually go with Mbappe, and he's fresh. So let's play with him. And up front, let's see. Haaland, Adayemi, and Chesko. Where's Chesko? There's Benjamin. It's Benjamin Chesko being the only one that's really tired. At the same time, that Haaland is the only one that it says he's in need of a rest. Hmm, that's weird. I think we're going to go Harper and Adayemi. Andrew Harper isn't really a player for to play in that complete situation. That's not good. Um, maybe if we use Tina Rainman. Now he's not for that one either. Well, this is a bit sad. David, uh, David McEnvoy. No, I don't think so either. You know what? I'm just going to have to play a tired Elling Harlem there. And uh, we'll do a complete rest of Benjamin Shesko. He's not going to be in the among the substitutes even because I want to rest him completely. On the bed, Dean Henderson. And uh, <clears throat> I think we're going to have 
Lamte on the bench since he can play both a right and left defender, even if right most likely is his best position. And then we want, I think we're going to go with Varane on the bench because Taylor, Kenneth Taylor is even more tired than than he is. So yeah, well, maybe we shouldn't have lent out Ronnie Edwards. Could have been good to use that a pair of fresh legs at the moment, but okay. Let's see what we can bring on on the midfield here. We don't want to use Jude Bellingham. He's quite tired. Go with that one. Let's say Stoke Bridge injured. That's not good. Garnacho though. Ericsson, of course. And then we have, we have Rashford. I forgot about Rashford. I mean, maybe he should play. Yeah, let's have Rashford play instead of Haaland. So Haaland on the bench together with Andrew Harper. There we go. That's the team that's going to play today against Burnemouth. So let's get going. Let's see what we can do against Burnemouth today. Um, I think it's only... You know, press it, go with that then. I think we only have league games in this episode, uh, if I'm not mistaken, which is um, kind of nice and um, and gives me an opportunity to do both rest a couple of star players, but also to to try out some some youngsters, perhaps unless they collide with um, with uh, under twenty three and under eighteen games. So. Yeah. Here they come though. Oh, Brooks. Oh, good block there. Mbappe to Shaw to Anel. Bruno Fernandez. Hoisting it long towards Arayemi. Can he get the ball in here? He gets it back to Mbappe. Mbappe. Shoots right on the defending midfielder there. Okay, we already have a yellow card on an L. That's not good. <clears throat> Their goalkeeper hoisting it out here. Brooks coming on the right side. Gets it into Sanchez. Gets it back to Brooks. Ooh, good tackle there. Save Algon, Rashford, and Adayemi. Let's see what happens here. Go back to Bruno Fernandez to Shaw. And the situation is over with. Or well, the highlight is over. So, I mean, I, I am. I do know that I have loads of strong players outside of the team today, resting them. So, of course, Burnhamuth will have a, a little chance against us compared to a lot of other teams. Oh, Dalot! What did you do there? And a free kick in a dangerous situation. Let's hope they don't do anything dangerous with it. Oh, De, De Gaia got that one. That's good. Dalot is is um, is ready to join. I think it was Hoffenheim or something like that. So he's leaving in the summer. So Lamte is our new first choice there, and I think he's actually better. The little I've seen of him in this team, I think he's played better than um, than Dalot. So uh, yeah, I think I've improved the right defense situation there as well. But I still want to find a really, a really, what shall I say, a world class right defender. I know Kimish. I tried to get Kimish before this season, but I couldn't. Um, but uh, yeah, someone of that quality is of course something that we would love to find um, and get into the club. But at the same time, uh, we don't have any money at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see how this season ends up financially, to be honest. Because uh, maybe I get fired because I ruin Manchester United um, wouldn't be very fun in real life but uh, in this situation I, I guess I am smiling about it but uh, 
because we have 33 million pounds that's all we have used all the other money that's been um, available for Manchester United so we only have a, a surplus of 33 million pounds the balance the bank balance of Manchester United and I know maybe they would just take a new loan or something here Burnham will take the lead this isn't fun Seval being very very tired but a goal was disallowed so I think I'm going to be taking out and putting in putting in Christian Eriksen there as I said <clears throat> I am losing a lot of money with Manchester United here and I think I need to be satisfied with the star players that I have now. I don't think I'm going to be able to buy a right, a, a world class right defender. Lamte will just have to be good enough, and uh, we're just going to have to see if we can find some bargain to to um, that we can find to be a right defender. If Lamte gets injured, oh, Gary Madayeme, one nil for Manchester United. So Lamptey will, will most likely be the first choice for the next season. And um, as I said, we'll try to find someone that can be a reserve to that. So that we don't... Uh, so we don't get... We, we don't stand without any right defenders once the... the if we get injured or, or suspension to Lamptey, so... Take the lead after the first half with 1 0. I'm pleased with that, to be honest. Um, we haven't played well today, and uh, to be able to, to um, be in control anyway, even though you don't play very well, is of course a nice thing. Oh, but here they come, low. Low or oh, the Gaia saves that one. I think I'm going to be taking out the lick now because he's extremely tired. So are Sancho. So I guess Sancho will have to go out as well. And uh, yeah, I don't have much of a choice now. I have to play with pretty much what I have on the pitch at the moment. There's Bruno Fernandes with the free kick. And ooh. That was a good free kick from Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes with the corner. No, just broken away. And Baran, did will he get injured there? No. Thank you. It looked like he was injured. Went down like he was injured. Bruno Fernandes with the corner. And their keeper is out there taking it. We don't have anybody. We can't do any more changes, so doesn't matter if we've if we'd had anybody to bring in on Fernandez's position. Faulkner, Bruno Fernandez, Ericsson, Dalot. Dalot with a long ball to Adayemi, to Rashford, Rashford, Faulkner. Faulkner gets it in. Oh, oh. Is that a penalty? Oh, 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 oh. If we can take a 2-0 lead here, that would feel a lot more secure. And it's awarded a penalty. Could be Mbappe stepping up, taking this penalty. Let's see if he can put it into the net. And he scores! Mbappe scores! Kylian Mbappe. And we take the lead here. Marvellous. Just as planned. <laughs> no, of course not. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> It's a uh, good one, and uh, I think we have another three-pointer ready here now. It is 20 minutes left to play, lots of my players are tired, so yeah, that can still happen a lot of things, but uh, I do believe that we have this game in our hands now, um, and this is a, a sign in real life, or oh, this is a sign of real strength from the team when you don't play good but you're still getting your three pointers so uh, yeah that's going to be nice 
only 21,150 or 49 in attendance. That's a weird Premier League. Oh, well, here they come. Will they get anywhere with playing here now? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we will even steal the ball somewhere. Oh, no, here they come. Low. No, there, Mbappe stealing that ball. Can he get it into Adayemi? No, Adayemi is offside there. Oh, that was a bad pass by Mbappe, I must say. Ericsson, Faulkner, Ericsson, Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, Dalot. Dalot getting it in, but headed away and stroking away. And trying to reach low here, and they do, but uh, yeah, they get a. Did they get a corner out of that? Yes, they do. Seven minutes of ordinary time left. So, uh, let's see. And it's headed away, headed away. Yes, good. Rashford. Rashford. Mbappe. Mbappe running with the ball. And can he get it in? No. He tries to reach Bruno Fernandes back there, but that's what intercepted that ball. Let's have a look here now. Lol. Dojanvik. He also. And low and Cartwell. Oh! Good one. We got that one away. We're still 2 0. And look at the tired players we have. That's not good. Some of them might even have to play in the next game. And then that's an, a catastrophe to be that tired. Anel. Sure. Bruno Fernandes, Mbappe, Bruno Fernandes. Can he find a, a good pass? Yes, to Arayemi. Arayemi, no, he couldn't score there. Three with the goalkeeper, still couldn't score. That's a bit of a shame. Dalot, Faulkner, Eriksson, Dalot, Eriksson, Dalot, Faulkner, Dalot. No. Oh. Oh, sorry. Low. Oh, he hits the bar. Bit lucky there. Both me and De Gea. De Gea to the run. The, the big game is over. Should be blown. Any final wishes should be blown. There it is. And uh, a good another three points. And uh, I guess I'll just say, I'll see you in the next game. And so we're here. Took some time, I must say, even if you didn't notice it. It was deadline day for transfers and everything, so uh, the computer had to work, you could say. Uh, we're going to face off against Southampton away now. But first of all, let me just show this, the financial situation. £20 million. Pounds. So I've lost £13 millions in a very short time. And already this month, £7 million. Pounds. And this month is yeah, three days old. So, uh, yeah. It is a bit of a worry. I hope I don't get sacked because of that or something like that. Um, I know we have bought players over our... Um, our existence or I, or the way we should because we have paid a lot of installments and stuff like that in order to buy players we didn't have enough money to buy like Jude Bellingham so so uh, yeah we hopefully we won't get fired or something like that uh, we might be having in a financial situation that we might even have to sell out some of our star players other than that, um, I believe with the success we have on the pitch, we, that we really could, um, we, we really should be able to fix this um, without any problems come, come the end of the season. Um, I'm pretty sure of it anyway, so let's hope that that is the truth. Uh, Varane, or how about Ty Kenneth Taylor, 
I think is going to be taking delict position. Delict still very tired. We want to have, and we can't use Garnacho. Can't use Harper. So we need another two substitutes. Jude Bellingham and Benjamin Chesko. And now we can see what we're going to be, how we're going to change around here. I think Tarek is going to play instead of Delot. Kenneth Taylor is a real... This is really bringing our team down, to be honest. But, yeah, we don't have much of a choice. Bruno Fernandes tired, so I'm going to bring in Christian Eriksen. And I'm going to use Bellingham instead of Seybold. Erling Haaland. I think he's going to play instead of Rashford. I think we should be good there. Or I think we should be good enough to stand up against Southampton, I hope. So let's get going with this second game of this episode. And as I said, if the... As long as we don't lose our job or, or um, we do... They put us... They're giving us a lot of uh, punishments, to taking away points and stuff like that because we can't... We have uh, slipped up financially. I don't see any problems. We will get gain a lot of money come the end of the season with um, with all the sponsoring money and stuff like that. So it will fix itself. I'm pretty sure of that. And of course, we still have our we're favourites, real favourites to win the league. Of course, uh, giving that we are i think it is seven point, 17 points ahead of the second team and um, so yeah i do believe the league is the league title should be ours we are still in every competition we're going to play final in the in the Carabao cup and we are still in the fa cup we which we just we haven't played any game in the fa cup yet so we're going to face off against Blackpool. I think that's the first game of the next episode. That's going to be. So uh, we're still in that. We're still in the Champions League. I've just registered uh, Lamptey. So he's ready to to put on his boots and play in the Champions League as well now. So um, yeah, we're still, uh, we are in every competition still. So we still have a loads of way to bring money into the club, of course. And all the sponsoring money that is coming in at the end of the season. But the question is, will I be allowed to be in debt? Because we're not twenty million pound is not going to last this entire season. Definitely not. We need um, we need a, 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 a big amount of money if we not go down to deficit. So uh, yeah. But we'll have to worry about that later. We have to see what happens. Uh, I hate for for the series to die, so I'm I'm hoping that I will that we can keep on playing in this save without any problems, even if we go down into the reds, into the red numbers. It shouldn't be a problem. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. Here we see Sancho. No, couldn't get it anywhere there. Taylor is there. Good. Bellingham, Sancho, Adayemi, Haaland, Eriksen, Mbappe, Haaland, ooh, now I was close to selling uh, Luke Shaw, they wanted to buy him, uh, I think Real Madrid wanted to buy him for 27 million pounds or something, and uh, then they wanted to buy Anel as well, but um, yeah, I couldn't sell our nail uh, because we don't have more than four central defenders. And we're playing a loads of game now, games now, so we need to be able to rest players and stuff like that. So I couldn't sell our nail, and I didn't want to sell um, Luke Shaw. I know Davis is uh, most likely a better left defender than Luke Shaw. 
and I do know that I have two young players that could become really good like Drew Warburton and uh, Joseph Webb I think both of them can be first team Premier League players but they're nowhere near that now and I need to have a backup if Davis gets injured and stuff like that so yeah just gonna have to hope that oh come on United we're just gonna have to hope that the, the financial situation will uh, get better but I also know that it's gonna be tough um, we don't have a lot of players either so I mean yeah we do have a lot of players but not a loads of players we do miss out in the under 23 and in the under 18 to be honest first team we, we might have uh, one or two too many but uh, yeah let's see we need to need to be better I think I'm gonna thrash my arms or point my fingers and um, like that yes let's see we need to take care of Southampton here, that's for sure. We can't fall into a slump now and and, and start losing games. That isn't good. We are soon to play a final in the Caribou Cup and that's going to be very important for us. Silverware is always important. We're taking ourselves all the way to the final. Of course we want to win it as well. So yeah, we're gonna. I think we're gonna face off against uh, Newcastle there, just as the real. And ooh, and then we have Mbappe. Nope. I think we're gonna face off against Newcastle, just like in real life, where Manchester United did win with two 0 in the League Cup final. So um, let's hope we can bring glory, more glory, I should say, to Manchester United here. Their goalkeeper. Posting it out and now bring it up to Haaland. Haaland tries to reach Arayemi. He does reach him and oh! Arayemi has had some problems to be honest. I think we're gonna now I think we're gonna take out Arayemi and put in Cheshko now. Oh Arayemi scores! We're not gonna take out Arayemi. <laughs> oh well. 1-0 Manchester United. Tyler should go out. So I am going to bring in Varam there, and the goal is awarded. Perfect. No delict in the team today, since he was really, really tired. So, yeah, Sancho is very tired as well. So I think we're going to bring in Brad Faulkner there now. Let's see here now. Here's Ericsson with the corner. And, oh, nothing there. No. Mbappe. Bellingham, Adayemi, Ericsson, ooh, what a good curl on that ball, loads of curl on that one, nice to see, Ericsson with the corner, nope. let's see, do we have a left midfielder here, we have Rashford, hmm, we want to, yeah, we want to, Rest Mbappe, so we bring in Rashford there. There's Faulkner. Gets it back to Bellingham. Bellingham, no. Ericsson, back to Varane. So, yeah, looking okay at the moment. Um, only a 1 0 lead, but we are in control of the game at the. Ooh, Bellingham close to putting in the second one there. We are the team in control, I feel, so uh, yeah, I'm not that worried, to be honest. Um, the Bellingham, Lamte, Veron, Bellingham, Veron, Lamte, Haaland, Haaland, Erling Haaland, oh! Oh, how could he miss that? That's unfortunate. Oh well, still 1-0 Manchester United. Still in a, in a 20 points lead after 25 games. That's incredible. I must say, I don't think I've ever had as good a season as this. Well, not in a long, long time. And definitely not without cheating. Which I 
have been known to do a lot when I play outside of YouTube, so to speak. I do grow tired. It, it, it's nice with the pressure of YouTube in that sense that you don't grow tired in the same way. When I play for my when I play my own saves, I I, I do I often have to turn off every cheat there is because um, otherwise I just when things go bad I just start to to uh, do a lot of things to to change that and and uh, and you're always in too much of a hurry. It's it's nice to see this. This thing with Manchester United has happened a lot quicker than I thought it would. I never thought we would, would into Season 3, be this dominant as we are. Uh, but taking the, the Telford and the Welling United, where we have built up slowly, and it's taking... We played Welling United for, for almost one and a half year now, into Season 7. And we have slowly built up that club, and we still have a loads. We have a long, long. Oh, what in God's name happened there? As I said, with Welling, we still have a long, long way to go. But uh, it's nice uh, to to do it uh, in this uh, in this way. With uh, I mean, look at Dechaya. He should do something there. I'm very disappointed in Dechaias. Do we only get one point in this game? That's not the best, but okay. So yeah, but, but when I play for myself, I sort of, oh, it goes half a season, and uh, nah, let's improve the, the, the training facilities. Let's go in in the editor and change that, and... And that's that's the good thing about the YouTube that you put that pressure on yourself that you're not supposed to cheat here, so you don't do it, and it takes some time, and it's it's more rewarding as well. Actually, it feels much better. But having said that, uh, the second game of this episode ends in a one-one draw, a d bit of a disappointment. Um, so, but um, all I have to say now is, see you in the next game. And so we're here, last game of this episode, home to Newcastle, the team that we're going to face off in the Carabao Cup final later on this season. So, and I do need to do a correction. Uh, of course, it wasn't the first FA Cup uh, game for us. It's the second FA Cup. We did beat out Wrexham with 7-0 um, in between the games, uh, the League, League Cup semi-finals against Chelsea we played Wrexham uh, one with seven nil so yep it's going to be our second FA Cup game and it's the first game of the next episode but now let's end this episode let's take a look at this game and who we can play today Anel is a bit tired I think we're going to be doing this now Delict should be ready to fight again so that that means we're going to have a really good defense the best defense we can bring on that is anyway um sancho looks like we're pretty fit every one of us and and uh, the least fit looks like it's uh karim adayemi so i think i'm going to start with chesco today I give him the opportunity and carry him on the bench. Bruno is back in full fitness, so let's play Bellingham and Bruno Fernandes together there. And let's see what this team can do then. Uh, because next game is, as I said, game against Blackpool in the FA Cup, so we might be using a couple of reserve players in that game. So might as well go for the best team here against Newcastle. And uh, hopefully show them what kind of problems they will have in the Caribou Cup final. So, no, not going hard in. Certainly not. I don't want to get anybody sent off, as I usually say. Here with the assistance recommendation. And uh, we're off.
Holland and long ball to Mbappe. Mbappe runs out with hatch one. Well, I guess it was a hard ball to take care of. Let's bring down the cursor down to the left corner. Here they come, though. Back here. Oh, he gets free. Oh, thank you. The blasting is over. <clears throat> now let's hope that the players can um, put in a good... They haven't played together for a couple of games now, so might be taking some time for them to get back in, in winning ways. On, I'm not talking about taking them games. I'm talking about taking them 10 or 20 minutes to get back into to playing uh, properly together again. But um, yeah, we should be winning this game. Given the players that we have on the pitch. But we do struggle at the moment. Newcastle has put up a, a brave and hard fight against us. That's worrying. But uh, let's see what we can do. Come on, United. Lamte, Delict, Veron, Fernandez. Fernandez with a long ball to Haaland. Haaland, will he get there? No. The goalkeeper could easily pick that up before Haaland was anywhere close to it. Here's Delict. Bellingham to Lamte. To Sancho. Sancho back to Bellingham, getting it up. No, Cheshko does not try to reach that one. Goes all the way back to Lamte, to the league, to Bellingham, and long ball up to Mbappe. Can Mbappe do something here? He gets it to Bruno Fernandes. Well, they're starting to play better and better together here now. So we're starting to take over the game. Here's Bruno Fernandes with a corner. Oh, the league running for that one. Gets it to Bruno Fernandes, to Sancho. Sancho back to Bruno. Bruno gets two chances. Oh, just outside there. Just outside the post. Unfortunately. Oh, well. Here comes Newcastle. But it seems... I get the feeling that we're taking over the game more and more. And um, it should only be a matter of time before the goal comes. Oh, Chesco. He gets a corner out of that. Bruno Fernandes with the corner. And um, nope. But Mbappe picks up the loose ball after that and gets another corner out of that. So Bruno Fernandes out to put the corner in. And nope. 25 minutes and it's a goalless so far. But we have taken over the game more and more. I must say that. And I should be surprised if they um, win this game or even get a point. We should be breaking them down sooner or later. We've been playing so much better the further the game has gone. And there's Sancho! Hits the bar, top of the bar, with his header. But here comes Newcastle with a free kick in a dangerous situation. Goes out to Rafa. And oh! It's over. That's good. And um, we can start building again. Come on, United. Delict, Bellingham, Fernandez, and Mbappe. Oh, sorry about that. Got some, some air in my belly. Darwin. Herrera. Come on. Bellingham stealing the ball there. Yes. Here's Haaland, here's Bellingham, long ball to Shesko, Shesko's free, and Shesko puts it in! It's 1-0 Manchester United at Old Trafford. It's going to be a VAR check on that one. Oh, it's been disallowed. He was offside. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What a shame. But it's been in the net now, and should be giving us more... Feelings towards scoring here now. Um, Bruno Fernandes with a free kick. And ooh! Okay, or a car or something like that got in the way there. Here's Varane. Davis. To Bellingham. To Varane. Gets it into Shesko. Back to Varane to Bellingham. To Mbappe. To Shesko! 
they're starting to play good now and you can see the average rating of the players is rising as well so uh, we are slowly taking over this ga game and it's nice to see um, it's nice to see all the stars being back and that they are slowly getting to getting back to the old way of playing together and starting to find each other again and stuff like that oh dangerous here let's not hope for a red one it doesn't even get a yellow that's nice did shove him though Lamptey and Davis has not been good today that's a shame but neither has Sancho and Mbappe so uh, yeah and Chesco hasn't been great either I am considering taking out Chesco and putting in Arayemi to see if that will help I am going to do that just as soon as this corner has been yeah let's do it Arayemi coming in for Chesco here we go Come on. We could do with some more changes because there's a loads of tired players out there like Bellingham. Maybe I should put in Ericsson there. Here's Rolando, Davis, Mbappe. No, Mbappe losing the ball there. That's not good. Bellingham stealing it back. Good. Bellingham. Sancho. Lamte. Finding Haaland. Finding Chesco. Oh. That would have been a beautiful goal, but it wasn't to be. Now we have to take out and put in Ericsson. And here's Lamte with a throw in. Ericsson, Lamte, Sancho, Ericsson. Nobody there. It's the right area, because there should be some players there, absolutely. But, yeah, there wasn't. Bruno Fernandes, Davis, Veron, De Ligt, Eriksson, finding Sancho. Sancho, can he get the ball in? Now he gets it back to Lante, to Eriksson, gets it out to Sancho. Sancho gets it in, and there's Haaland. Oh, We're not making the very best of games here today, I must say. Mbappe, Davis, Mbappe, Fernandez, Ayemi, Davis, Mbappe. It's it to Ayemi. Oh, I think we're going to put in Marcus Rashford there as well. We need to do some changes, and we're gonna. No, we don't have any more. What was the first one then? Adayemi, Rashford, eh, Bruno Fernandes, oh, Christian Eriksen coming in for Bellingham, that's right. So all three changes are done, now we can just sit and wait and hope for a scoring. We've been the better team, that's for sure. Even if it was very even in the start, the first 20 minutes was quite nerve-wracking. Newcastle was just as good as we were. But after that, we've been better and better, but we just haven't been able to score. We did have the ball in, but oh! But that was an offside goal, unfortunately. But it does seem like it's going to end in a goalless draw this game, which is a bit of a pity. Well, it's better than, than losing, of course, so I'm not, I'm not saying it like that. But I would have liked another three-pointer here. Here's Rashford. Here's Davis. Rashford. Davis. Baran. De Ligt. Lamte, Sancho, Sancho trying to free an Adeyemi, he finds Adeyemi, but Adeyemi does not find the net. Dang it, come on United. We still got three minutes or two minutes to, to do something. Get the ball, come on, come on, come on. Good Veron, Fernandez, Veron, Fernandez, Davis, long ball towards Haaland, Haaland gets it down and it Erling Haaland seemed to have won it for us in the dead of the end of the game. Oh, only two minutes left of extra time. And a nice ball by Davis there. And a good... Oh, he just takes it down so nicely and puts it in. 
and it's 1-0 Manchester United and I guess that's the way it's going to end here's a free kick for United De Ligt, Varane Fernandes, Varane De Ligt Varane Davis Varane, Davis, Varane, Davis Fernandes, Rashford and it's over it's over Manchester United has beaten Newcastle 1-0 in this Premier League game and uh, yeah very very good result to be honest um, it took some time for us to to get into it and to win it but yeah what a way what a victory 1-0 now we're just going to end this episode by going through a couple of things here um, you can see next game FA Cup fourth round against Blackpool at home uh, it's the same day as an under 18 day so to speak so I do need to instead of using a lot of under 18 players I might be having to use a lot of under 23 players and um, yeah I'm just gonna have to see how that ends but yeah I mean we should stand a chance looking look at this 13 million is what we have left in our balance here and that is worrying i must say it is worrying a lot we have a profit or should i say a loss so far but almost 14 million pounds this month and we're only one week into the month so uh, yeah it's hard at the moment i must say um they're very, very disappointing that we don't develop players using our youth system. But yeah, I mean, that's where I want to go. But we needed to have a, a, a team that was strong enough to fight for trophies before we start developing the youth players into star players. Um, but we still have, I think we've, we've been, should I say, uh, developing good players like Adayemi and Chesco. But yeah, of course they haven't been coming from our youth system so i guess that's why it doesn't count but i'm hoping that we will get something good up soon i mean i'm looking at the dev center here and the youth candidate it says that we will have probably have some top prospect in the center of midfield but only a b so i guess they are not going to be world class uh, strikers is also a b Goalkeepers, centre backs, and defensive midfield. C. You can see here we. I I don't know if we can uh, do much more on that department. Let's have a look. Uh, make board request. We're not going to do anything. We're not going to decrease that. Uh, we could increase. No, nothing. Networking. No, we can only cut down. So it looks like we have actually maxed out everything when it comes to our our um or what you may call it the 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 youth facilities here with state of the art first class yes so yeah and we do have state of the art training facilities here so we are maxed out on everything uh, at the moment I know it's going to be deteriorating so of course in a season or two or three or four or whatever it takes we're gonna have to we're gonna need to to uh, invest in it again but at the moment we don't have to because it's max maxed out so now the only thing I am worried about is the financial situation can we save ourselves from this financial situation I can look at this and see that we're going to get a loads of money once the season is over 75 million from that one 47 47 sorry 47 million 46.5 27 24 I mean adding all this up and uh, we probably get a, a at least a two 200 million pounds or something and then all the prize money that we're going to get uh, because we're going to win the Premier League I'm, I'm I'm 100% sure that the Premier League is ours. We have 71 points and Liverpool has 53. 
So, I mean, even if they win that hang game that they have, they will be up to 56, which means that they are 15 points after us. And we're closing in. We're only 12 games left to play. So, yeah. Champions League, we're going to face off against Real Madrid. And uh, we have an FA, FA Cup game, um, the game against Blackpool. And then we have a league game. I don't remember who that was against. And then we have the Real Madrid game away. Those are the three games that we're going to play next uh, next episode. Let's have a look at it. Who that team? Blackburn. Yes, that was right. In between the FA Cup and the Champions League, we're going to face off against Blackburn. And those three games are the next episode's three games. And in the episode after that, we have Leeds in the league. Newcastle in the Carabao Cup final, and then Chelsea in the league. So, uh, yeah, it's starting to sum up. The season is is closing in to the end, and we have but we have a couple of episodes left to play, and it could be quite a few since uh, hopefully we will get through in the FA Cup. I'm pretty sure of that. Even if we use reserve against Blackpool, it would be a disgrace if we go out against them. So hopefully not. That's going to be that's I am ninety nine point nine percent sure that we're going to be able to go through. And then we have Blackburn. Um and then Real Madrid. Can we go through in the FA Cup in the Champions League? I mean we should be able to stand a little chance there. We've been playing very well. Um looking back at everything. We played in good in the Champions League as well. So um why not we should be able to to stand a chance against real madrid now we should never underestimate real madrid they are a very good side so yeah it's going to be tough it's going to be extremely tough but i think we do have a, a good chance of beating real madrid and then we have the fa cup which we don't know uh, we're gonna get how who we're gonna get oh, in the next round if we go through and uh, then we have the final of the Carabao Cup. So we still have a lot to play for. And um, <clears throat> I guess we still have quite a lot of games we need to win in the league to be 100% sure that we're going to win. But believe me, once it says champions here, we are certainly going to experiment with a lot of young players coming up and, and playing games for us from time to time. But I guess that's it. Uh, let's end it with a look at this beautiful map here or whatever, the competition page here where we have really had a great season so far and I'm hoping it will end just as great. And I will just say stay safe out there in this dangerous world and have tons of fun. Um, would be very happy if you subscribe to my channel, uh, leave a like and a comment. And I'll just end with bye-bye-bye-bye.